All right, so the new, uh, what's her name, Gary just released, and I got her level 80, um, some for the banner already, of course, and uh, let's take a look at what she does. Actually, let me take a look at the costumes, because I saw someone using a costume that was pretty nice. Um, she doesn't have any crazy costumes, don't, don't worry about that. Yeah, I think it was this one. It's pretty cute, but, I mean, staying away from kids, so... Uh, not 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 the best look. Uh, she's okay. No, nah, she's not. Okay. She's actually terrible. She's actually terrible. Like these are her stats: eighteen point five percent penetration, fifty seven percent resistance, thirteen percent chance to crit. Uh, kind of bad. Her cards cancel stance. Oh, this is just one hundred forty AOE. One hundred forty AOE. This is cancel stances of all enemies. 250 uh, AoE. Cancel stances of all enemies, 250 AoE. Probably the worst attack card in the game. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. And then, uh, heals HP of all allies by 200%. Heals HP of all allies by 200% and gives them an ultimate gauge. Heals allies of all enemies by 300% and gives them two ultimate gauge. And her ultimate is cancel buffs and stances on one enemy, 630. Now, terrible. Actually, Terrible. <laughs> she is very bad. And then her passive, which is kind of laughable. Um, allies heal for one percent of max HP for each ultimate or uh, ultimate move gauge orb they have at the end of your turn. So let's say they have three ultimate gauge. They heal by three percent. Let's go, pop off. Um, if they have five ultimate gauge, that's a maximum. You're probably gonna use the ultimate already anyway. So if you have zero, you're gonna reuse zero. That's 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 so bad because you see, there's this unit right here. Where is she? There's this unit right here. It's called Elizabeth. This is the same healing card. This attack seals, which is much better. And her ultimate is an actual good healing, and her passive is that she heals HP of allies by 10% of max HP if they take damage in that turn, which that's usually when you want to heal anyways. 10%. Sure. So, this unit is laughably bad. So, we'll take... Where is she? I can't find anymore, but we'll take her in some stuff and, and uh, we'll test her out. I will play PvP with her in this video, but I, I, I'm I telling you right now, she's going to be actually terrible for it. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so I'm first taking her in the boss stage, because honestly, I... <laughs> uh, that's, um... That's, uh... I don't know where else to take her, she's just not good. She's, <laughs> she's so bad. She's just so bad. Remove stances! Oh, like, yes, Taros is cool and all, but like, no! Alright. Uh, I'm gonna use her healing card right here just to wait a, waste a card turn. Let me see the animations, I guess. They're nice. It's just a healing card. And it doesn't cleanse. So... She got attack weakened, which is... <laughs> nice. It doesn't cleanse. So... I'll just, I'll just have to wait for the attack weakening to go away. I don't have any other choice. <laughs> I really don't have any other choice. It's all I can do. I have to wait for it to go away. I need to kill that Slayer. I don't know how, because I only have AoE units. I just realized that. It's alright, though. It's, we'll, we'll survive. We'll, we'll make this. We'll make this. Um, I hope she survives. I mean, her resistance is not bad. 57%, I think it was. Um, that's not... It's not the worst. Uh, I've seen... I've seen worse. So... You know, let's do this. I'll rank Gopher up and attack you. Um, because then it becomes level three. She needs all the help she can get, dude. <laughs> she needs all the help she can get. So I'm gonna level three boost with Gopher and then boost with East and attack. And we'll see the damage that she can do. Two blue units and a red unit. Let's see. And then we we'll use the ultimate, of course. But her penetration is so low. 221k. Three enemies. They didn't even kill Slade. Attack boosted by Gopher. And by Easton. <sighs> <laughs> she, 
She's just not very good, is she? Oh, uh, is this gonna be a case? 160. Yikes. Is, is this gonna be a case like... What was his name? Uh, Fraudrin, where he looked to be the worst unit in the game. And then turned out he was like super mega OP if you just invest a lot on him. Is this gonna be the same case? I hope not. No one invests in the lollies. Stupid. Ugh. I d <laughs> ah, this is so bad. Th this banner is just so bad. Like Ludocio, he is okay. Uh, he seems like an okay unit. No attack boost. Let's see. I haven't I haven't used him yet because you know, banner just dropped and I haven't pulled him yet. Um, he seems like an okay unit. Like the pat, the, the not the passive, the uh, the commandment or grace or whatever he has, that's really nice. You can use it in the back. You can put it in the back of like Easton. That's really good. But for that, you're gonna have to six six him, because you know you want to get the stats. So you're gonna have to wail for him for him to be good. Uh, like the it's like the same thing as Fraudrin, you know. I don't like the sound of that. I just don't. So, you know. Um, doesn't, I don't know, really? Okay, I'm gonna get some attack cards real quick. As I was saying, uh, the Luna Seattle doesn't interest me because of that. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, the whole, he, you have to really wail for him. Like, he has to have a higher CP than the enemy to, like, his passive to work, which is very similar to how, uh, you know, Fraudin worked. Um, yeah, he just uh, d disappointed me a little bit on that one. But the the whole grace thing just opens like possibility for so many new units with grace, and like how stu like the way the grace works, right? Is any unit in the field? I'm not if it's in the field or in the game, like in your team. Haven't checked on that yet. But any unit that has a grace gets that grace applied to them as well. So let's say you have a full grace team, all of them are gonna get all that boost, right? So. That's really interesting, um, to just have that as a possible thing for the future. I don't know, that little cell doesn't really interest me. I know I'm talking about damn while I'm making a video about her, but he really they released together and she just has nothing interesting, like... <laughs> she's just a trash unit, let's take her own PvP, okay? I mean, I honestly don't even know where to put her, so I'm just putting her in the standard Eastern team, like she... If she doesn't do anything, then Easton can carry me, okay? That's my... <laughs> that's my state of mind. If she doesn't do anything, Easton can do something, okay? <laughs> that's, um... Uh, uh, hmm. Alright. Lost vein, okay. Old meta team. Of course there's more CP. Hmm... Might just be a bot. I mean, honestly, even if it is a bot, I'm. <laughs> I mean, it's not. He's doing correct play. Yeah, he's level two attack, isn't it? No, it's not. But she's almost dead already. Nice. How much defense does she have? <laughs> How much defense does she have? Zero. Let's um, of course, rank up Easton. And then heal. <laughs> I mean, she's been useful for that, I guess. <laughs> she can heal. That was, a, that, was a, that was an okay amount, actually. And the ultimate gauge orb actually made her heal 4% of her max HP right there after, afterwards. No, I mean, I'm just talking crap. Maybe she's insane. Uh, let me, yeah, ult of gopher. Never mind. I was gonna ult of gopher. Let's do this, right? Let's attack, attack, attack. This is gonna break the shield. The second one, yeah. Nice. <laughs> she did a, a whole total of 17k? <laughs> a whole 17k? Let's go! <laughs> Ow! This level 1 almost killed me. Yes, true. Oh! Okay. 
Oh, you're defying the power of my. Z oh no, this is not stun. It's just a regular. Oh my god, I forgot. This. Mm. This and this, I guess. I really don't know what else to do. Like the ult is not gonna hit all that hard. A Crimelli? No. I should have altered King. Uh, should have altered King. It's fine. It killed Liz. That's okay. Liz ended up dying at the end. But if I had killed King, uh, no, nah, he would have got revived. No, nah, it was actually best to go with, with Liz. It was. It was. You know what's good? Her, she doesn't cleanse. So if he petrifies Easton, oh, he didn't. Okay. But if he had petrified Easton. Nothing I could do about it, because her, her healing card doesn't cleanse. Oh, she's dead. Okay. Okay. I... I don't know, should I show more? Like, do you have any belief that she's good? In any way? Like... They just release a trash unit with a high unit. Just that's how, that's how it usually goes. That's normal. That's normal, it's not surprising at all. So, um... Yeah, just, uh, just know. I don't recommend level 8 her. And you really did that. <clears throat> yeah. Just know that I do not recommend getting her to level 80. Um, in any circumstance, really. And that's pretty much all you have to know. I think that's the whole purpose of this video. Done. Yeah, we just finished this match. That's the whole purpose of this video. Please don't have a Petrify and a Takeoff Ultimate Gage card. I mean, that's one. That's two Ultimate Gage card removals. I can kill King this turn though. Like I said, if... <laughs> if Lolly Girl can do anything, at least King can. Or uh, at least Easton can. Easton is just... She's so good, she just opened like possibility for like any team to be made. Like you can bring like almost any unit with her and they might just work. Like look at how good she is! Ah <sighs> I don't, I don't, I don't Um What's the word? I don't I regret getting her to 6 6 in the slightest. And crit. Never mind. Okay, thank you guys for watching. <laughs>